Shalom. Shalom. Let it give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. I'm so lucky. Bahashim. Rakadash. 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 To all the Akim out there pushing the words of sincerity and truth. Uh, we out here. You know, we're on a GMSA transit. We're going to do a little quick uh, on the road back home from the camp. And um, we got we got the brothers here. And they want to, you know. I'm Asha Yaga, huh? Shema Yum Yun. And we just gonna we're gonna do the spirit Yabba Shema Shah do a little edifying on the uh, how you say the fallouts? Fallouts. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know. This is twenty eighteen. I mean <laughs> it's been a lot going on, you know, growing in the spirit, becoming righteous men, you know, enduring what the Lord had of put in front of us. All this mayhem. I mean, if you look at you look back at all of the brothers, I mean, the, the so-called brothers that was in this, they're not around no more. Okay. And that's that should be fear. I mean, it's not to scoff, it's not to it's not it's not to make them feel put mockery on them. It's but it's put supposed to put more fear in us that the Lord don't take that spirit away from us. That go up to Psalms on um, fifty one, you know, and that's what it's all about enduring, because Yahweh Shai endured for us for our sins, you know. And that's that's the most scariest thing to fall out and then go back into this world. But this world is just it's crazy. I mean, every you look, somebody's dying. You know, uh, black on black crime. Um, it's just crazy. You got some got scriptures, that's right? Oh, you got something to say, brother? Sorry, it's, uh, Romans twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies. A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, right. which is your reasonable service. That's right. Read that again? Yeah, you want to read it again, Brother God? Uh, you can bring it down? Yes, sir. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, be by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Right. Present yourself as a living sacrifice because our King, He did that for us, for our sins. Not for His sins and our sins. Can you imagine being um, beaten all the way to you was hung and, and, nail, and nails put in, in your hands and put on a cross? That's that's a living sacrifice. So what we going through is is for a moment, and and this moment is almost up. So you supposed to present yourself. You're not supposed to leave this because this is why this is the reason why you um the Lord had mercy on you because you you've been. Week in and week out, out there on the highways and the byways, presenting yourself a living sight in front of these damn wicked ass people, you know, and then telling, telling this world, listen, the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem is at hand, and look what happens. They get mad at you because you're reading a book. Mm -hmm. Not, not that you uh you out there with guns. Look at the motherfuckers in in, in, in uh, shooting the schools. They not, you know they 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 will give mercy to them. Oh, uh, maybe he was going through some psychological um thing in his head, so he shot the school up. Okay. But if we read in the book, we 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 the most demonic people on the on the on the face of the earth. In their eyes, yeah. In right. their eyes. If I can make a quick point Come. too. Yeah, man. You know this this country, so called America, Babylon the Great, loves to see. Um, the Israelites, who mm. are the sons of God, loves to see them act wicked, man. Yes. They love the Migos. They love to see you cooning and jigabooing and acting like a nigga and a spigger. <laughs> but when you get on the corners yep. and you and you start breaking down these scriptures, they hate it, man. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to uh, that scripture, uh, you shall be reviled for my namesake. Mm -hmm. All right. We revile for the name, for the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, who the world calls God. And the world calls uh, Jesus Christ ignorantly. Uh -huh. That's right. You know? Okay, read that, brother. We finish up that, brother. It says, uh -huh. "Holy, ex holy, acceptable, acceptable unto the Most High." Acceptable. Yeah. We we gotta be acceptable in this because if you if, if I mean if you're in the spirit, you know there's nothing left. I mean to be acceptable into the the most the most powerful entity. That ever exists, that that's, that is, and his, his name is Yahweh, to be accepted by him and and to get the kingdom. What is there? What is? Look at this this, this madness out here. The traffic, confusion, confusion. Just all types of noise. This ain't it. Yahweh should be hate this place because mm -hmm. this ain't acceptable. 
And you know what? He who let it will let it. Yeah, how about Shemiah shall let this place go on until he until he's ready to destroy it. Mm -hmm. So uh, read that part again, brother. Right, it says holy it says present your body present your bodies a living sacrifice uh -huh. holy acceptable unto the most high. Unto the most high. That's what we out here. Now we like the apostle said, this is your calling. Not not being a basketball player. Not being a football player, not being a rapper, you know. You know we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, um, we gotta live in this world to our means because we gotta, we gotta survive. We gotta, we gotta feed our families. We gotta, we gotta eat. We gotta, you know. But we're not supposed to be going out to be a drug dealers, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be running around here, um, putting women, and making women prostitutes, mm -hmm. you know, to get our ends meet. No, we're supposed to go get a regular job because you are subject to payment. That's right. You you work for your how about Shemel Shah through through the white man. The white man is the, is the, this is his dominion. So you a slave to the white man. Um, and your how about Shemel Shah put you under the under the hands of this damn devil. He put us in the hands of this devil because we disobey. So you said, if I could, cut it. It's a lot. You want you want to make your point? Uh, yeah. What he said? Uh, he said, uh, give to Caesar what Caesar's. Cut. All right. And give to the Most High what's the Most High. Cut. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a little bit, I'm gonna finish it off. Okay. Holy and accept acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Alright, and we hold and acceptable how? By doing the wisdom of God, understanding the scriptures, by doing the Lord's will. And doing the work on the Howlers and Bowers. That's right. Because right. where else you gonna do? What you gonna do? Where you gonna be at? <laughs> you think about it, like, especially brothers, so called brothers that's been in this, in this truth, and they they not doing this no more. Right. And they're gonna be they're gonna be have their head down like the pastor said they're gonna be ashamed of themselves because mm -hmm. they they're not doing this no more they they, they got, when the kingdom when the kingdom gonna be somebody's child and they're gonna be like damn come come yeah um, if I can make a quick Kun, point Kun. too yeah you fallouts man it shows you don't have any faith in Yahweh by Shem yeah. you don't fear him otherwise you would do the work fervently. Yeah. Even doing the work fervently, you would think of what I could do more yeah. to add on to this ministry and play that, play whatever role, you know, you were, you were given, whatever gift you were given to accentuate that role and do, you know, your best office and, mm -hmm. and whatever office you're given. But if you, if you just fall out, take your hand from the plow, mm. you don't feel the most high at all because you know that there's terrors and all these things coming. You know that we've gone off our whole lives having a Gentile mindset. Mm -hmm. And to be able to even have the gift of this and to be able to teach, you should be, you know, pursuing it fervently. But to fall out just shows you don't have any faith, man. I actually got a precept to go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 John 2 and 19. <clears throat> and it reads, they went out from us, mm. but they were not of us. <laughs> or if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Read that again, brother. God. It says they went out from us, uh -huh. but they were not of us. Who's that? They went out from us. That's you fallouts. Now you become scoffers. Now, can you imagine of uh, been doing this for three decades, right? And then all the fallouts that left the apostles, uh -huh. like they always say, they on the comic board, but they're not. They're not saying nothing. They're just there. And then when it's like now the the um, the, fa the family of the word has been has been. It's natural, natural reality, yeah, net, yeah, yeah. It's coming up like another too much, right? Mm -hmm. Now those same men that's been on the on the on the um on the cardboards just sitting there, they scoffers, but they just require scoffers. 